crimes of restraint. First one we'll talk is about is uh, PC-236, false imprisonment. Um, this carries a misdemeanor. It's a misdemeanor punishment of a fine or county jail time. If any violence, menace, or fraud or deceit you use, it is a felony. Uh, there's got to be a restraint of the victim's liberty, and the restraint must be unlawful. Example uh, could be where a suspect blocks your way, uh, blocks your way out of a building or a room. You're blocking the doorway. Another could be false arrest by the police. Now, in order to bring an action against the officer, you got to show uh, confinement resulting from an arrest without a warrant. And I, there's a there's a uh, a case that I'm citing here of Monk versus Inret. PC 210.5 is taking hostages. This is a little bit different. This is where there's false imprisonment to prevent the uh, an arrest, and they're using a person as a shield, and this is a felony. PC 265 is abduction of women, and this is taking any woman unlawfully against her will by force, menace, or duress, and it couples her uh, and compelling her to marry uh, him or another or to be defiled. Uh, this is a felony with state prison up to three years. PC-266, seduction for prostitution. This is taking a woman under 18 with no sexual experience to a house of prostitution or arranging uh, or to aid and abet her in the act of prostitution. In other words, finding her clients. This is a wobbler. This section is to protect young female runaways. Now, on all these sections I'm giving you, you should be writing them down and looking them up separately so that you know what's in the actual text. I'm just giving you a brief synopsis of them, but it's very good for you to go back and look these all up and read them. Uh, you need to review the, the following associated sections. Uh, PC 266A, which is abduction for prostitution, 266B, abduction for cohabitation, and 266S, F, as in Frank, selling a person for immoral purposes, like white slavery. PC 646.9 deals with stalking or threatening violence. This is when a person willfully, maliciously follows the victims, threatens violence, death, or great bodily injury. First conviction is a misdemeanor. Second conviction is a felony. PC 207A is kidnapping. This is unlawfully moving, holding, or detaining, or arresting a person against their will by force or fear and you move them to another country, state, county, or part of the same county. Except a victim under 14 who's taken for protection from danger, as in uh, taken from a cult. A person is uh, seduced by a cult and the parents hire mercenaries to get that child back. Or the victim is legally arrested. Movement, aspiration, we'll talk about aspiration in, in theft also, meaning it's a movement. It's got to be substantial, not part of the commission of some other crime. In other words, you're going to do a robbery and you march everybody into a back storeroom. That's uh, pretty trivial, and it can't be trivial. It cannot be trivial. It's got to be uh, movement. In People versus Greed... There was a case where 90 feet was found not enough. In other words, they moved some people around a warehouse. But in People vs. Scott, half a block was found to be substantial. The point the person should be let go, uh, you're making your getaway, um, then uh, at that point it could be kidnapped. Uh, it's got to be against the person's will. Lack of freedom on the part of the person being moved is, is a uh, definition of that. Um, or detention, lack of freedom to move or leave. 
on 207 a uh, it's a general intent crime there's no specific reason for kidnap need to be established it could be consent by fraud uh, and consent by fraud is not considered consent that can include a hitchhiker who gets in the car once they want to leave they're not allowed to leave it becomes kidnap a person too young or mentally impaired is not considered as one that can give consent very similar to our sex crimes cases or kidnapping that occurs as part of another crime take a hostage to escape uh, again at the point the suspect could leave without a hostage and the 207 takes effect uh, PC 210.5 is taking hostages uh, the victims could be different also a, a robbery suspect carjacks a driver outside a store to get away PC 207 B kidnap of a child under 14 uh, this is a separate section and it has to do with specific intent to commit any of the acts defined under 288 child molest anybody who unlawfully moves holds detains arrests uh, against their will by force or fear and moves them to another country state county or part of the same county to commit um, child molest is guilty under this section 207b kidnap of a child under 14 uh, again this is a specific intent crime you have to show that they were going to do something obscene or or an, a lustful act with the child by words or actions or other cooperating evidence uh, also there's an amber alert activation you contact CHP for a child under 18 and under government code 8594 they will activate the amber alert uh, signs which are large LCD uh, sort of uh, signs that are lit with information on the abductor and the description of the vehicle involved or the victim involved in their in strategic locations so that persons in in regular traffic might be able to aid in the um, arrest of the suspect ransom kidnap 209 PC this is the little Lindbergh law when Charles Lindbergh's child was kidnapped it made the news that was one of the first big ransom kidnappings person takes for the purposes of ransom or extortion it's specific intent crime to get the money punishment uh, victim no bodily harm it could be life with bodily harm life with no parole and if the victim dies the death penalty and if the victim is is confined in a dangerous place they're buried alive or something similar to that with an air pipe it's life imprisonment definition of the term bodily harm again is the touching of an individual in an aggressive hostile manner bodily injury is any assault including sexual or any injury as a result of the action of the suspect or attempted escape discussion only applies if the movement is beyond the scope of the original crime and uh, places in and increases the risk of harm to the victim above and beyond the intended underlying offense if under PC 209.5 kidnap during carjacking if uh, the carjacker doesn't check the vehicle properly to see that there's not a person in the back seat of the car when they pull out the driver uh, they can get life without parole for kidnapping in addition to the uh, carjacking two ten PC says it that if you pose as a kidnapper to get to extort money uh, you could be found guilty of a felony 
for the purpose of collecting ransom or reward, the person poses as a kidnapper. Related codes I want you to research. 278, child stealing. 278.5, to violate a custody order. 279.6, protected custody of a child following a domestic violence investigation. PC 280, concealment of a child pursuant to adoption proceedings. It's a misdemeanor if they're taken out of state, it's a felony. Uh, these sections protect either the parent and the child during custody proceedings, and I would like you to be familiar with them.